Hi there, I'm Chloe, Head of Content here at Auto. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a report type we use a lot on the marketing team here, Funnel Reports. To start, navigate to Analytics, Reports and New Report. As you can see when I search, we have a number of different funnel report templates you can use. These are a great way to fast track your reporting, but today I'm going to show you how to build from scratch. Here are all of our report types. Funnel reports are best if you want to measure people who perform a set of activities. And today I want to use this report to look at how many people who start a trial, go on to complete an onboarding checklist, and then sign up to my fake business picture. So let's give this report a name and add the three metrics. Started trial, onboarding checklist completed, and sign up. Now I could use these filters to drill down further. For example, in the started trial metric, I could filter for trials that started or ended on a specific date or trials with a specific plan name. I could also look at things like trials in a specific country or city. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to keep things simple. Here, I can change the labels. This will ensure that the report is clear to anyone who views it. Here, I can filter the entire report. So I want to filter this report to exclude spam. To do this, I'm going to look for spam has no value or spam is false. Great. Now the time frame I'm going to leave as 30 days. This is for the report as a whole. The conversion window is the window of time to complete the next activity. For this, I'm going to select 30 days. But if I was looking for a set of activities that should happen in quick succession, for example, demo requests and demo bookings, I might want a shorter conversion window, like seven days. The uniqueness window looks at the time frame in which the report captures unique activities. In this case, I'm going to set this as 30 days. Then if a person completes the checklist more than once within that 30 day period, it would only be counted as one unique completion. Great. Now I'm going to hit create. I can go ahead and pin this report to a dashboard. And if I want to look at which of my contacts are in a specific part of the funnel, all I have to do is click on the chart. This will bring up the contacts who have made it through to that part of the funnel. Now, finally, if I want to refer back to this funnel for quarterly or annual reporting, for example, I'd go ahead and switch it to dynamic. Once the report is ready, I'll receive an email letting me know it's ready to view. And then I can go ahead and change the time period here to look at the last quarter, month, year, whatever I want. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned because I'm going to be talking through some other report types in future videos. Thank you.